What is good guys and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing a full and comprehensive review of the latest from Fear of God Essentials. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this drop definitely caught me by surprise as we are just coming off of the heels of the Fear of God Adidas collab, which definitely took a toll on my pocketbook. And now we have this entire release for winter 2023. I don't doubt it's going to be a very Merry Christmas for the team at Fear of God, which is amazing. They've been hard at work and it's definitely evident by all of this amazing product. Now, speaking of hard work translating into amazing product, if you guys hadn't heard just yet, my watch company just did a soft launch exclusively to the Locust and Wild Honey community. Now, if it isn't evident, I am in especially good spirits today because I just got the greatest surprise, Christmas surprise I could possibly ask for, and that is we were just featured in Hypebeast. I can't even begin to tell you the significance, the milestone element that plays a role in this. I grew up on Hypebeast. I mean, you guys know, you guys have been with streetwear for a very long time. Hypebeast is a very big deal. And so forgive my exuberance as this is just the greatest news that I got today. So feel free to go ahead and check the article out down in the comments below. Learn about my company. It is absolutely unbelievably humbling. But anyway, as I am in an amazing mood, today I want to go ahead and do a two watch giveaway. And all you have to do to go ahead and be eligible is to make sure you like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below, make sure you're following myself and Aura Watch on Instagram. And of course, you need to be subscribed here to my channel. That's it. Absolutely no purchase is necessary. I will be announcing the giveaway winner in my Instagram stories in about two weeks time. You're going to get two watches, which is an $800 value. And what I have to say to that is Merry Christmas and the best of luck to everybody. With that being said, let's go ahead and unbox everything that we have here. I think I purchased a little bit of everything, paid $60 for shipping to get overnight shipping to make sure you guys had all the information that you need before the retailer's release. All right, you guys, so now I've got everything unboxed and on the rack. And as you can see, I do have a little bit of everything from this drop. And the plan is to go ahead and go over each and every piece, review them, give you my thoughts and opinions. And of course, we're gonna detail sizing as from time to time, each collection may vary. At the end of today's video, I did also want to share with you the pieces that I liked the most, things that I would personally recommend, and whether or not they are worth it. So let's go ahead and start out with the first piece here. This first piece is the half zip nylon shirt. The retail price on this one is $175. And as you can see, I did opt for the seal colorway. All right, so right off the bat, this piece definitely fits on the bigger side. It does have a bit of a crop to it, but it is accentuated by the thin elastic band that kind of closes up this piece. The nylon on this piece does feel pretty good. It is a singular piece of nylon that is treated to have that almost crinkly nylon effect, kind of like vintage nylon. I think it looks really good. Think Stone Island with a little bit more shine, and that's what you get from this seal colorway. I like how it fits, it's pretty cool. Um, it definitely has more of like an athletic vibe. So if you guys plan to pick these up, make sure you own the Fear of God basketball sneakers. I think that would look really nice paired with this piece. But yeah, this is the half zip nylon shirt priced at $175 in the seal colorway. Here I am wearing a size small and for reference, I'm 5'7 and weigh right now about 170 pounds. I'm actually a fan of it. At $175 it is on the pricey side, but then again, if you compare it to other brands that do this style of tech nylon, 175 for this item seems about right. <laughs> I can tell you right off the jump, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really rock with this one. Gary, I rock with uh, with just about everything, but anyways, uh, this is what is known as the nylon pullover, priced at 165 bucks, I believe, in the seal colorway. Here, I do have on a size small. I, I really, really don't care for this one too, too much. Um, again, 5'7", 170 pounds um, as of this morning, and uh, yeah, this definitely feels like a, I don't know if like you're gonna give birth type thing and like they gave you that like gown thing. Uh, those are the vibes that I get 
from this item here. All right, so next up we have the Cotton Blend Crew Neck. And unlike that last piece, this one here, this one I'm feeling really, really good about. I did elect to go ahead and take a size medium for this release to achieve this pretty vastly oversized fit. Again, 5'7", about 170 pounds athletic build. And I gotta say, this, this piece feels so excellent. Uh, this color is dark heather oatmeal. It does fit pretty oversized, as you can see, got a good amount of space um, in the sleeves and stuff like that in terms of width. Uh, lengthwise, it's not too, too bad. Um, this is definitely a really cool piece, in my humble opinion. Um, a lot of people felt a little bit sideways about this new rubberized label. Um, now that I have it in hand styled with an outfit, um, it just has a very minimalist, low effort element to it. Right off the bat, I do get mainline vibes from uh, just the way this is proportionally cut. It's a little bit unorthodox in terms of um, how wide it is, but I really, really like it. Priced at 90 bucks if you need a crew neck for the winter time. Uh, this is this is awesome. This is a fantastic uh, fitting crew neck. And so I uh, highly recommend 450 GSM, by the way. Um, so it is on the heavier side. And uh, yeah, I definitely get like mainline vibes from this one. I'm really happy with it. All right, so next outfit. These are the Cotton Blend Fleece Shorts. And uh, I did go ahead and keep everything tonal kept uh, the crew neck on because I, I really do like it a lot. And B, because I just wanted to show you uh, the ensemble styled all together. Okay, so here I do actually have a size up from my typical size, uh, just because I wanted to show you guys a little bit of differentiation uh, between the two. But specifically honing in on this pair here, uh, my true to size waist is a 30, standing at 5'7", 170, athletic build. And uh, as you can see, this is definitely on the baggier, roomier side. They are pretty short, just like the crew neck. These are a 450 GSM, definitely feeling super premium. Uh, price at 75 bucks. Um, it is on the pricey side for cotton fleece shorts. All right, so next up we have the cotton fleece polo. It is comprised of the same sweatshirt material that you find with the crew necks. Of course, just with uh, the formation, if you will, of the polo finish out front. Uh, the button is tonal. It feels to be comprised of a really cool premium button. It's like that rubberized finish that you saw on the aglets on the shorts. Outside of the very, very big Fear of God Essentials hit on the back, there is no branding on this piece. As you can see, it does fit uh, pretty boxy. Here I'm wearing a size extra small. I actually ordered a small based on the measurements, hoping uh, that I have a more like cropped silhouette while maintaining it being pretty boxy. But for some reason, a extra small ended up coming here today. But yeah, needless to say, it's, it's a good piece if it was properly fitted. All right, so next up we have the baggy lounge sweatpants. And uh, as you guys can see, these definitely fit the script of being on the baggier side. Definitely very, very roomy. You have a very large rise here, as well as ample space in the thigh that finishes all the way down to the ankle. As you can see here, I did pick up the garden yellow, but I also picked it up in dark heather oatmeal as well. Out of the two, I do prefer the dark heather oatmeal. But yeah, these are just such a sick pop of color in my opinion, and it's always nice to break out like lighter colors come the springtime and so that's why I did decide to spring for these uh, garden yellow lounge relaxed sweatpants. I'm wearing a size small here as I mentioned I'm 5'7", 170. I know I keep repeating myself but in the event somebody's fast forwarded to this specific piece I did want to be as clear as possible to be as helpful as possible. So big fan of these sweatpants are very very cozy, very very comfortable, very baggy and I, I can just imagine myself just absolutely lounging at like a movie theater, maybe Cineopolis, in these really nice sweatpants. As I've already mentioned, I did also pick them up in dark heather oatmeal. Again, opting for a size small. These pants fit, feel, and look incredible. I do prefer the dark heather oatmeal between the two, but you really can't go wrong with a cozy pair of sweatpants regardless of what 
color they are, at least in my opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section down below though, what do you think about the new relaxed lounge sweatpants? Are they way, way too baggy? Did Jerry miss with this one? Biting off much more than he could chew as time and time again, we've seen a rejection of the baggier aesthetic. For me personally, I'm definitely the mindset that baggier is better from the perspective of being comfortable. Now, similarly to the crew neck, I did opt to pick up the brushed fleece hoodie in that same dark heather colorway. The hoodie is actually a size small. The reason why I did get a small and a medium is again to show you guys the sizing differential. In my humble opinion, I do much rather prefer the size medium. I don't know what it is, man. I'm just not a big fan of the elastic band around the hoodie. It's not that I even don't like the, uh, the scuba hoodie element of it. It's just the elastic portion of it. It just makes it just very difficult to put on, leading me to not really wanna opt to wear the hoodie as much. And so uh, from that front, if I was gonna choose between the two, my personal preference is the crew neck. Even if I went with a medium in the hoodie, I think I'd still prefer the crew neck. Right, so next up we have the cotton nylon hoodies. And guys, I got to say, Jerry definitely did his thing when it comes to these pieces. As you can see, I did opt for the oil colorway hoodie with the dark heather oatmeal body, and then the yellow garden colorway with the dark heather oatmeal. And I did style them with their respective shorts. That means for the oil hoodie, I did opt for the top being a size medium. It does fit oversized. The rubberized logo out front definitely makes the hoodie pop. And again, with this dark heather oatmeal colorway, it just looks super premium, definitely reminiscent of Fear of God like fifth collection. And that definitely transitions through uh, the composition of the hoodie. The nylon is uh, somewhat padded. There's like an insulating material between two layers of nylon. Uh, definitely a good piece, overall well-constructed piece. And that exact same thing rings true for the garden yellow colorway. Uh, the hoodie is very, very nice in texture, very much so complementary to the dark heather oatmeal body. And with this hoodie, I did match it with garden yellow sweatshorts in a size small. From these two hoodies, I'm actually only gonna keep just one. So you guys tell me in the comment section down below which one I should keep. As versatile as the oil colorway is, you know, it's just a little bit on the boring side. And so you have the garden yellow, definitely able to pick up that role. But again, it's not as versatile. And uh, I don't know, that's one of my favorite things about clothes is picking up pieces that are practical and versatile. All right, you guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat insightful and helpful uh, come drop day, which is set to release tomorrow. The overall consensus is to go ahead and take your true to size size and bottoms, at least in my opinion, the shorts fit on the shorter side. The lounge sweatpants are definitely very, very baggy, and I might actually consider going a size down if you don't like them as parachute -y, big baggy style as I have here. The waistband is elastic, so you have a little bit of wiggle room to go ahead and play around the sizing. The surprising standout to me was the half zip nylon shirt. The worst piece in this entire collection that I picked up today definitely has to be that hospital gown looking nylon shirt. And finally, the pieces that just really stood out to me, my favorite pieces from this haul, definitely have to be number one, the lounge sweatpants. These things are just so comfortable. I think they fit really dope. I really like the contrast hoodie uh, the, with the nylon and the fleece body. Both of those look really, really nice to me. And I gotta say, the simplicity of the crew neck, you just can't go wrong. As a matter of fact, I might put the crew neck at number one. Like that's how much I like it, fits super nicely. I like the logo a lot more than I initially thought I would. But yeah, you guys let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Are you planning to pick up anything from this release? Was anything just a complete miss? Are you gonna just go ahead and skip all together? I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say down below. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out the link below for my watch company. It's a soft launch, so only for a very, very limited time. 
I'm doing 30% off for Locust and Wild Honey, and I don't see 30% off ever happening in the foreseeable future, just exclusive to uh, this soft launch for you guys. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for continued support me here and my channel. It really is such a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content. I'm insanely humbled that you guys consider me as a content creator for you. And uh, yeah, just insanely humbled, guys. So thank you. I hope you're having an amazing holiday season. Let us not forget the reason for the season, and that is to fix our eyes on the one that came to save the Lord, and his name is Jesus Christ. I will catch you guys in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.